Welcome to This Week in Astrology. This is episode number 644 for February 16th through 29, 2024. A T-squared Virgo full moon highlights the second half of February, along with a rare triple conjunction of the Sun, Mercury, and Saturn. We also have Venus conjoining Pluto and Mars, Venus and Mars squaring Jupiter, the Sun entering Pisces, and more. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm your host, Benjamin Bernstein. I record these forecasts as an audio podcast and a video, so take your pick. The video version includes detailed chart graphics, which you can also see in my written forecasts at astroshaman.com. Be sure to subscribe to This Week in Astrology in your preferred app, and if you haven't already, be sure to click the link in the show notes for two chances to win a free Astrology Plus session with me each month. In fact, I announce our February winner during this episode. As of February 16, we have a waxing moon and there are no retrograde planets or continuing aspect patterns. Let's dive in. On Saturday, February 17, creativity, relationships, and money can all be potently empowered by a Venus-Pluto conjunction at one degree Aquarius. If you're creative, set aside plenty of time to express your muse. Pluto can supercharge your creative juices. In your relationships, Pluto can arrange for triggers to bring up your unhealed traumas, for thousands, my free healing invocation has proved a quick and effective way to heal old emotional pain. That is linked in the show notes. And if you're on the video, you can see that you can go to the top of my website and click Instant Divine Assistance to get info about that as well. Also, erotic relationships can benefit hugely from Pluto's amplification of tantric energies. And any meaningful relationship can be enriched by Pluto's preference for honest, vulnerable, and authentic connection. Finally, Venus and Pluto respectively represent money and wealth. This obviously opens up the potential for financial enrichment, but Pluto can represent breakthrough or disaster, so carefully scrutinize any financial opportunities. With Venus and Pluto both in Aquarius, watch for intuitive hits to guide you and stay alert to unconventional approaches and opportunities. On Sunday, February 18, the sun enters Pisces at 11.13 p.m. EST. For the next month, there's easier support for spiritual awakening, inspired creativity, and operating in the zone. Compassion, unconditional love, and dream work are also boosted. This placement can also empower the more challenging side of Pisces, so try to steer clear of substance abuse, addiction, and excessive escapism. Ditto for aimless drifting and playing the martyr. Then on two days, February 19 and 20, Monday and Tuesday, relationship healing and creativity mentoring are supported by two related aspects on consecutive days. Mars quintiles Chiron, Mars 5 Aquarius, Chiron 17 Aries on February 19, followed by a Venus Chiron quintile at the same coordinates on February 20th. Mars and Venus combine to energize relationship and creativity, while Chiron supports healing and mentoring. So relationship healing and creativity mentoring are the two most obvious ways to benefit from these aspects. The quintile, astrology's most magical aspect, adds divine inspiration to both. Next, on Thursday, February 22nd, Inspired thinking, writing, and communication is magically energized by Mercury, Quintal Jupiter, Mercury, 28 Aquarius, Jupiter, 10 Taurus. This is this forecast's third quintile. Engage your brain and stay open to input from your higher wisdom. Also, on Thursday, February 22nd, there's a Venus-Mars conjunction, 7 degrees Aquarius. As I mentioned previously, Venus and Mars most easily partner to energize relationships and creativity. Whatever's happening in a relationship can be amplified by this aspect. With both planets in Aquarius, explore innovative solutions and follow your intuitive hits. The Venus-Mars dynamic also supports creativity, so devote some time to your artistry. The Aquarian energy invites you to stretch your boundaries or maybe even branch out in a new creative direction. On Saturday, February 24th, a full moon illuminates the sky at 7.30 a.m. EST. That's at 5 degrees Virgo. Any Virgo full moon is great for release or adjustment in the areas of service, health, and detail work. Aspects. 
the sun and moon form a T-square with three other planets. Mercury and Saturn sandwich the sun in Pisces, while all the planets square Pallas Athena. Saturn is the most potent planet in this aspect pattern. He can help you accomplish your full moon goals with greater maturity, responsibility, and wisdom. He can help you use your time efficiently and make it easier for you to plan the work and work the plan. It's also Saturn's job to raise obstacles where they serve your highest good. Does your soul growth call for you to face a particular challenge or rise to a greater level of mastery? If so, Saturn will arrange a catalyst to bring this to your attention. At such times, it can help to remember the Stoic motto, the obstacle is the way. Saturn's placement in Pisces can empower your law of attraction abilities. Pisces rules visualization, while Saturn rules crystallization. Having a clear vision of what you want in your mind can speed up its physical manifestation. By the way, I have a link to my law of attraction post in the show notes. If your full moon goals include deeper embodied awakening, Saturn in Pisces supports that too. Saturn is four degrees past the sun during this full moon, while Mercury is three degrees behind. Mercury empowers your ability to learn and communicate during this waning moon period. Mercury's placement in Pisces can help you receive and channel intuitive information. The final planet in this full moon T-square is Pallas Athena. Her warrior goddess energy can help you be more assertive with your full moon goals. She can also support you with her abilities in negotiation, strategy, and diplomacy. The moon also has two more aspects. A tight moon Vesta quintile can give you inspiration on how to selflessly support a worthy cause. Finally, a moon Jupiter trine can bless you with expansive energy and good luck. Also, on Saturday, February 24th, relationships, creativity, and finance are amplified by a Venus-Jupiter square. Venus, 11 Aquarius, Jupiter, 11 Taurus. Jupiter is the great magnifier, adding power and awareness to anything he influences. So notice which people, artistic desires, and money matters come into your awareness. Some may need release or healing, while others may be on track and poised for expansion. Notice what kind of opportunity Jupiter is bringing and act accordingly. On Tuesday, February 27th, taking life-affirming action as a warrior, pioneer, sexual being, or entrepreneur is amplified by a Mars-Jupiter square, Mars 11 Aquarius, Jupiter 11 Taurus. But take care that the square doesn't activate Mars' darker impulses. These can include destructive impulsiveness, inappropriate anger, harmful sexual activity, or violence. Mars is in Aquarius. The less spiritually awake you are, the more you could be tempted to act impulsively and irresponsibly. The more awake you are, the easier it will be to receive and act on your trustworthy intuitive hits. Also, on Tuesday, February 27th, you can enjoy magical mental mastery with Mercury quintal Uranus. Mercury 8 Pisces, Uranus 20 Taurus. This is this forecast's fourth and final quintile. Whatever mental activity you're engaged in, thinking, writing, teaching, or communicating, this aspect can give it a special sparkle. Mercury's placement in Pisces, which can open your mind to a constant flow of divine energy and inspiration, makes this opportunity even sweeter. On Wednesday, February 28th, three conjunctions happen within 13 hours today. A Sun-Mercury conjunction at 3.43 a.m. at 9 Pisces, a Mercury-Saturn conjunction at 10.08 a.m. at 10 Pisces, and a Sun-Saturn conjunction at 4.25 p.m. also at 10 Pisces. All times are EST. When we just consider the planets, this triple conjunction adds vitality and focus to all your mental activities. It can light up your learning and communication and can help you do it with greater discipline and productivity. The fact that all three planets are in Pisces adds an easy flow of divine inspiration and energy. This can enhance your creativity. This Pisces, Sun, Mercury, Saturn combo can also empower law of attraction work and embodied awakening. On Thursday, February 29th, Mercury and Jupiter return for an encore. They made a quintile on February 22nd and are now back a week later on February 29th with a Mercury-Jupiter sextile, Mercury 11 Pisces, Jupiter 11 Taurus. 
with Mercury in Pisces, inspired thinking, writing, teaching, and communication remain energized. With Mercury in Pisces, this placement also supports channeling information from higher levels for yourself or others. And Jupiter can help you act as a professor, philosopher, guru, or other wisdom giver. Also, would you like to speed up your healing and awakening as part of an uplifting community with hundreds of dedicated awakeners? Then check out Awakening Plus, my online membership that can put your personal transformation into high gear. You can choose from about a dozen Zoom calls every month, as well as an ever-expanding archive of over 625 events that can profoundly change your life. You'll also benefit from three major courses and much more to help you awaken, heal, and thrive. Click the link in the show notes to learn more, or go to awakeningplus.com. That's awakeningplus.com. Also, Here's a five-star Amazon review of my number one best-selling book. The review is titled Powerful and Practical. C.O. Raleigh wrote, If you have found your way to this book, you probably are facing some kind of life challenge and looking for answers. Buy this book immediately. I was at a challenging point in my life, and I can't tell you how much this daily practice helped me through that. This book is easy to read and gives you everything you need to know to begin this powerful spiritual practice. There are special invocations for specific situations and also guidance on how to create your own personalized invocations. Benjamin's writing style is so approachable and friendly, you feel like you have a friend on the path with you. The Ida invocations are a powerful and practical tool for life. End quote. Wow. Thank you for those kind words. As I mentioned earlier, my book's 15-word title is... Instant Divine Assistance, Your Complete Guide to Fast and Easy, Spiritual Awakening, Healing, and More. If you like to listen, my audiobook is free if you're not yet an Audible member. Click the audiobook link in the show notes to take advantage of this awesome offer. Instant Divine Assistance is also available as an ebook, paperback, and hardcover. Click the link in the show notes to check it out on Audible or Amazon, or read it in Kindle Unlimited. I also host another podcast called Awaken, Heal, and Thrive. Learn fast and easy tools for awakening, healing, and more. Gain wisdom from enlightening guests and enjoy mind-bending ayahuasca stories. I drop two new episodes each month. Check out the latest episode, The Manifestation Magic of Momentum. Click the link in the show notes or search for Awaken, Heal, and Thrive wherever you get audio or video podcasts. I mentioned at the top, we have a free session winner for February. This is Denise. It's the only Denise who entered whose email starts with D-O-B. If that's you, send me an email, benjamin at astroshaman.com, and we will get you set up with your free session. Congratulations. And everybody, thank you for being here. Once again, I'm Benjamin Bernstein with astroshaman.com. I can serve you with astrology readings, shamanic healing, and one-of-a-kind life coaching. All my one-on-one -on -one services are equally effective in person or long distance. I also offer an unbeatable price on Solar Fire, the number one astrology software for Windows. And as I mentioned, I run the Awakening Plus online membership for spiritual support. You can learn all about this and more at astroshaman.com. Please reach out if you have any questions. My email is benjamin at astroshaman.com and my number for voice and text is 828-338-9852. I'd love to connect with you. We are wrapping it up. Please leave me a five-star rating, review, or comment wherever you're getting this episode so others who also love astrology and spirituality can find it. And be sure to check out my Instant Divine Assistance book and audiobook and my Awaken, Heal, and Thrive podcast. Thanks again for spending this time with me. I wish you infinite blessings as the stars light your way. <laughs>